Welcome to Ask the Boss today with Bristol City boss Keith Miller. How are you, Keith? You Very right? good. Yeah, good to see you. This is uh, the way it works. Basically, you lot sending questions via Twitter, Facebook, and we ask the boss. So, uh, you ready to go, Keith? Yeah. Yeah. Far there's away. all sorts in here. There's all sorts. There's there's TV questions, technological questions. Obviously, there's some football questions. Yeah. The first one comes from Cider 1977. Do you mind your players being on Twitter, and would you ever use it? to communicate to fans? We have to be careful, we spoke to the players. I can't stop them going on no. it, but I don't want them giving me any information away on what we're trying to do at the club. Um, certainly, I know, I know Skivo at Yeovil, I think, used one of the sites to uh, get some fans' opinion That's on right. players. That's right, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Um, there's uses for it, but um, you certainly can't give any information away with what you're trying to do within the club. And have you, have you said that to the players? Have you got that message across? Have you sat them down and said, look, this is getting out of hand, be careful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We've had a couple of things already um, that have come up, nothing major, but um, the club have come up with a policy now and uh, there's a, a disciplinary action fines. that can happen. Yeah, yeah so um, the, the players know where they stand and, and they, they know the line that they mustn't cross. Yeah, hit them in the pocket, Keith, always works, doesn't well, it? Well, if we can use the fine monies for a, a staff night out, it's always handy. Zachary A. Piper wants to know, when you're assistant manager, who was the best manager you worked with? Um, I've not had that many managers, luckily. Um, Gary Johnson was was great for me. Uh, we got on well, and we were successful, and uh, picked up a lot from him. What's the hardest part of the job? Um, you could say it's all difficult, but it's, it's um, but you have to enjoy the challenge. It's um, there's, there's, there's different problems come up every day, and um, you can't let it uh, get you down. You can't let it affect you too much. You Can you switch stay. off? No. No, I think you probably can when you get more experienced. I think you learn something that I've got to learn to try and do. But at the moment, when it's, it's so important that I want to do, do well and be successful for Bristol City that um, all the time at the moment I spend is, is concentrating on trying to get us three points on, on Saturdays. OK. Tony wants to know, what's the first record you bought? My first record? Wow, that's a while ago. Um, I would imagine it could have been something like Wham! <laughs> around that time. Really? Yeah, it might have been. I was into a bit of that. Were you? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. White what, speedos. With and your feeler <laughs> tracky on and your little little, little wedge. It, yeah, yeah, I can remember being into the, the uh, records that sort of time, so I've certainly got a few of their records. Nodders11 asks, if there's somebody you would hate to get stuck in a lift with, who would it be? Probably after Saturday's game, <laughs> the, the fan directly behind the dugout. <laughs> Who kept telling me where we're going wrong? Yeah, because so they know, don't they? They, they know, the, the don't they? The fans definitely know. So probably after a defeat, uh, uh, that Bristol City fan would uh, probably not be great company for me for me in a in a lift. No. Okay. <laughs> Tom wants to know who's your favourite Beatle. Well, I'm not as old as I look, so they weren't. I wasn't really around when um, they was that famous. I know all about them. I'd probably say uh, Paul McCartney. Yeah. Um, but it's not my sort of music. Really? No, no it's not my... It's not Wham, music. is it? No, it's not Wham. Not wham. It's hey. the Black Eyed Peas more recent now. Oh, really? I like yeah. a bit of them. Yeah. Nice album. Yeah. That's, that's the only thing that you've said during this interview, Keith, that I've... I'm, You're not having? No, I'm not having, no. No, it's not no. for you. Not really, no. Well, it's good job no. you're I mean, wham. the manager, isn't it? Really? Wham, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have Wham all day. I have Wham, but Black Eyed Peas. Let's go to the next question, Keith. OK. J Trey 85 wants to know who's your favourite character in Only Fools and Horses? Oh, that's a fantastic. That's my probably my favourite too. Oh, program. is it? Oh, yeah, without doubt. Do you just call it full? Do you just call it Fools and Horses? Yeah, because yeah. that's what yeah. real fans just yeah. go Fools and Horses. Yeah, no, it's, it's uh, that's the that's my best ever. That is yeah. definitely it, it, um, probably. Oh, it's an odd one. Probably Rogers. Yeah. Yeah, his his character was fantastic. Trigger me. I like yeah. Trigger. No trig. Yeah. A lot of it, a lot of it was filmed around here. Was it? Yeah, in this area. Yeah. Didn't know that, did you? Hey. Eh? Hey. If you want to know, ask the boss. <laughs> See what I did. Ask, ask the boss. That's good, isn't it?